In the previous video, we looked at the various components of an accessible document and compared them between an accessible one and a non-accessible. In this video, I will explain how to add headings, how to amend them to suit different styles, and how to add page numbers. So this document, as we saw before, currently has no heading structure. And we can quickly see that by going into the navigation pane, and there's nothing there. So to add headings is very straightforward. I just go to the Home tab, and you can see here is the heading styles here, just here. So I could just click on here, for example, and make the first one, if I wanted that one to be a heading one, we could do that from there. Or alternatively, if I go to the Styles box just here, just make that, drag that out so it's a bit bigger to see. Let's just take it away from the image. Okay make that a bit easier to see. I can now go down to the next one and click on a level heading 2 and so forth. Level heading 2. Or alternatively, I could use keyboard shortcuts. So for a level heading 1, I press Control, Alt and 1. That's the same thing. Or if I go down to where there isn't a heading, okay, here, level heading 2, Control, Alt and 2. That becomes a level heading 2. And if I wanted this to be a level heading 3, Control, Alt, and 3 for level heading 3. So Control, Alt, and 1, level heading 1. Control, Alt, and 2, level heading 2. And Control, Alt, and 3. I'm going to make that back to a level heading 2. But if I wanted to change the look of a style, <clears throat> because this doesn't suit everyone, what I can do is, so let's say I wanted to change level heading 1. So I find level heading 1, and I say select all. And what it does, it just selects the level headings. It doesn't select any other text. And now I can go in, into there, modify that, and I can say, OK, uh, I maybe want that to be a size 18, bold, and I want it to, to be black. And then I'll say OK. And similarly, if I go into level heading 2, and there it's identified at level heading 2, if I go in and I say select all instances, what happens now is just selects the level headings. So this is where using or creating an accessible document can really improve your workflow. So you see it's just done that. So I can now just go and say, OK, for that heading style, to modify it, I want it to maybe be uh, 14. Or you could even just go in and modify it yourself, 15, and you want it to be black as well, and maybe bold, and say OK. And there it goes. It's changed those quite quickly. So a really good way of improving your workflow. And finally, it's just a case of adding a page number. So now quickly, if I go up to View and Navigation pane, there's some navigation starting to be built into the document, which you can use. And then, of course, we can go up into Insert and then down here to Page Number. And I'm just going to put this at the bottom of the page possibly just down at the middle. OK, and then if I close that, so now if I go down, I've also got page numbers. So I have the start of an accessible document slowly beginning to come together. Mm -hmm.